Ok, uh, so, noi am terminat partea tehnică și acum deja suntem live și pe YouTube-ul Oberlift uh, și cred că suntem gata și la partea de conținut. Uh, din ce am înțeles, să aud de binișor la voi. Dacă ceva, oricum, scrieți în, uh, scrieți în chat și noi încercăm să urmărim. Uh, noi ne-am gândit să vorbim uh, în două limbi. Adică noi ținem împreună workshop dar eu sunt din România și nu tare mă pricep la rusă, spre rușinea mea, și Bermetri din Kyrgyzstan. Așa că eu o să spun părțile mele în română și Bermet în rusă. Dar voi tot, în orice limbă, vi comod și noi ne descurcăm cumva. Um, noi ne-am gândit așa, avem până la șase jumătate parte de workshop de astăzi, de la șapte urmează prezentarea lui Bermet și ne gândeam pentru început să spunem ce cu viața noastră, cum am ajuns noi la tema asta, cum am ajuns să ținem workshop-ul, apoi să auzim puțin de la voi, tot așa, foarte pe scurt, cine sunteți, adică se vede numele, dar tot cum... Cum vedeți voi tema asta de food waste și trash touring, dumpster diving, um, foarte pe scurt. Uh, apoi ne gândeam să trecem puțin prin uh, ce ați primit ca home tasks, uh, chiar dacă poate n-ați ajuns să vă uitați prin ele sau uh, să le faceți, dar uh, puțin împreună să le analizăm, să vedem care a fost uh, scopul lor, de fapt. Um, după care luăm un pic pauză, apoi uh, ne uităm peste programul pe zilele ce urmează până sâmbătă de workshop. Uh, acum îl avem și noi un pic mai concret și o să putem spune la ora X ce se întâmplă, unde mergem, ce o să fie pe teren, ce o să fie poate online. Și dacă timpul ne permite, uh, vrem să încheiem cu un exercițiu de cartografiere, um, nu cum să facem pe o hartă fizică pe care nu avem aici și paralel pe Google Maps un fel de traseu de locații din Chișinău unde se poate salva mâncare. Fie că asta înseamnă chiar dumpster diving, fie că sunt locații unde noi știm că vânzătorii sau administratorii sunt deschiși să dea mâncare de genul. Um, și apoi um, încheiem și trecem la prezentare. Sună? Ok? Da, Vladimir bate la poarta digitală și ți-am deschis, cred că. Este, este Vladimir. Ok. Um, so, uh, now, like I said uh, just now, we will just briefly introduce uh, ourselves. Uh, maybe we're made to start because uh, I was uh, speaking already so much and <laughs> maybe better to switch the voice. Uh, hi everyone, um, my name is Bermiot, um, I'm an artist and a creator from Bishkek. Um, yeah, I'm super great uh, that we will have uh, these uh, several days of workshop uh, and um, I'm uh, like maybe more than 10 years studied at uh, contemporary art school in Bishkek, so now it's like Uh, we already started our new platform, Bishkek uh, Contemporary Art School. And um, today uh, also uh, our students uh, will join us for the lectures as well. And uh, I'm really looking forward for collaboration. It's not only like, I hope that it will be not like just a simple workshop. Maybe we can develop it for something bigger and our collaboration can do not stop. So let's, yeah, let's see. Mm -hmm. um, but I actually think a good question to ask. Are, is everyone here okay with uh, English as well? Maybe it's okay to continue in English. So it's um, more inclusive. Yeah? Okay. 
So I'll also say my part in English. Um, I'm uh, Clara. Uh, like I said, I'm from Romania, but I moved into Kishinev in 2018, specifically to work in an uh, environmental NGO called uh, Ecovisio. So um, um, this uh, connection with uh, the topic of food salvaging, of course, has some roots in environmentalism, but if uh, honestly I had some uh, ties with it from before just uh, from my personal life when I lived in uh, Lisbon I kind of got acquainted with this uh, practice and uh, really started to think about it more deeply and then uh, last year um, I took part in Oberlicht summer school which some of you may know and um, there I, I also had the idea because it was in Maria Dragan, so it was a lot about local community in the neighborhoods to integrate the food element to it and uh, to cook with the help of one of the ladies who lived in that board to cook something uh, exclusively with stuff we get from uh, the market. Uh, I mean, food that's not really good to sell, uh, but uh, super good to eat. And I already was doing that because uh, the, there was a shop in my neighborhood uh, in Rushkanovka, where the lady was super nice and uh, every night after closing time she left packages with these unsellable items specifically for someone to pick them up and uh, a lot of times that someone was me and then I thought uh, why not do something wider with it than me just uh, stuffing my face so we did that in um, the summer school and we went with participants to the market and it was such an uh, unbelievable uh, harvest, like so much food, that uh, this year the idea kind of resurfaced, but it's the first time I tried to structure uh, my activity in this area into something like formal, educational. So um, I'm pretty excited. Uh, it's really experimental for me too, but I think it's gonna turn up pretty awesome. Yeah. Uh, oh, Christina Pascar is also waiting to join. So I'm letting her in. Uh, Christina is not part of Eduard in general, but she signed up specifically for this uh, workshop because it had a separate call. Christina Norok. Uh, uh, salut. 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 A, ah, nu, nu-i problemă. Uh, noi tocmai ne prezentam, eu și Bermet, și uh, întrebam dacă e ok uh, în engleză. Că pentru tine tot ok, da? Sau preferi da, română? Da. Ok. Uh, uh -huh. All right. So maybe we stick to English for now. And... Um, yep. Cool. So since we introduced ourselves, maybe we can pass the microphone to you and hear from you a little uh, who you are, how, uh, what uh, draws you to this uh, topic, or maybe if, even if you're not super interested in it, how you see the idea of uh, food waste in your personal life, in uh, society around you. And uh, we were also thinking that maybe we could all share the last food that we threw out, even though it still had some life in it. Uh, so what was it? Uh, when approximately was it thrown out and uh, why? Yes. So uh, maybe Christina, since you already, we already heard your voice, you can continue okay. and uh, yeah. Uh, my name is Christina. I'm uh, I live in Chisinau, and uh, I've been uh, actually I was born in the village, and I lived there for 18 years. And we used to, um, we didn't have this notion of food waste. We had animals to whom we give the leftovers, like the dogs or the pigs or the chickens, or so uh, even the weeds uh, that we collected from the garden we would give it to the horse uh, to the poor pigs uh, to so i had no idea that such a thing as food waste existed and my mom is a cook so uh, whenever things were getting close to being um, 
like uh, altered, uh, rotten or something, she would cook it so it's not rotten. And also we would compost uh, like the, the leftovers that were uh, toxic uh, for the animals. And then when I moved to the city, oh my goodness, <laughs> uh, it's a total different life in the city. People here throw away food. Uh, even packaged food. And then I moved to, I lived in Kishino for uh, five years. Then I moved to Budapest and it was even worse there. And then I lived for a while in the United States and uh, I met a lot of uh, international students and the American people showed us how to dumpster dive to the um, uh, dumpsters of uh, big stores like Target and um, what's the other one? Walmart or I don't know. And mm -hmm. I was so shocked. I said, I'm not going to go and look into the trash. <laughs> and I went and it's not trash like we see trash here. It's it's trash like, as in boxes full of uh, good uh, packaged uh, sealed food. So when I came back to, and then I lived a little bit in Germany and I saw that in Germany they uh, separate everything. So when I moved back in uh, Kishinev, it was just the beginning of uh, sorting uh, different types of waste into plastic, paper, and uh, metals. So I am separating everything. I, but unfortunately, our, um, our municipality uh, collects them all together, but still I separate them. Uh, mm -hmm. And then uh, I started volunteering at uh, different uh, animal shelters, and they also said they have a huge... Uh, need for food so together with other uh, friends we take the our leftovers and even the leftovers from the store uh, we have some friends that are working as a cashier mm -hmm. and if they have like uh, expired bread or things like that they give it to me and I take it to the shelter so mm -hmm. it is a painful and I was reading some of the materials that you sent and there, yes. uh, a lot of them are focused on this uh, topic of capitalism. When I was reading, I don't relate to that because from my point of view, I'm only thinking about the waste. As, as being the daughter of a farmer, I know how long it takes for the, the sunflower to grow and then we pick it up with the hands and then we make uh, oil. Or I know how long it takes for the wheat to grow. So for me, it's all wasted uh, resources and waste. And it's like a waste of effort. Like all these mm -hmm. people worked. So uh, it's Christina, painful sorry. To all this. Uh... Sorry, just uh, because you went into the reading list and uh, it's uh, really interesting, but we will, uh, we will talk about it uh, very soon today. Yeah. But I wanted to ask also, what was yeah. the last uh, piece of food? that you threw out, even though it could have been uh, eaten still, yes. and why? Uh, I uh, wrote into my journal the, that you sent, and mm -hmm. I have very little things that I threw away. I threw away two grapes, which were full of flies, these uh, little uh, flies. I don't uh -huh. know how to, to, <laughs> to use it, otherwise I was scared to eat it. And I threw away um, a bowl of pasta because it went bad. I forgot oh. it. I didn't put it in the fridge overnight and it, in the morning it smelled bad. I I don't know how else to cook it or something. Yeah. So that was the only thing I threw away. Okay. Cool, Christina. Thanks a lot. Um, now I will just go by the order I see in Zoom. So next in line would be Marcella Nisper. Salut, Marcella. I'm okay with English. Um, hello. Um, yeah, I'm yeah. Glad to attend this workshop as um, uh, as a participant. From I am not part of the Eduard concept, um, but still for me is a very important theme. Um, I think um, I also live in a village. We also don't have such a big food waste uh, at my home. We have uh, chicken. We compost. Um, but the biggest problem, what I found, is um, in Kishinev, for example, yesterday going at number one uh, shop. And uh, it was like nine o'clock in the evening and all the food department was full. And I always have this concern about all this huge amount of the food and what's happening to it. And in the opposite side, I know a lot of people that will need this support could, um, could not, maybe could not afford to buy it, but they would gladly use it. Mm -hmm. uh, what I've, um, it was, I think, today, 
I throw um, uh, grapes. <laughs> they were with uh, flies. <laughs> um, that's all. But usually I, I throw the, the when it's already in a very bad situation. Mm -hmm. But I see this fly of uh, grapes make a lot of uh, victims. <laughs> yes, yes. Grapes they, with flies. <laughs> grapes yeah. with flies, and they are already, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, cool. Thanks a lot, Marcella. Okay. Uh, so next would be Elena Iftodi. Yeah, hi, hello. Um, my name is Elena. Uh, nice to meet you all, guys. Uh, uh, Elena, sorry, sorry, just the sound is very weak. Um, maybe your microphone can get closer to you or you to the microphone. Let me try something. It's changed something? Oh, yeah. super. <laughs> All right. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, I changed the volume of my speaker. Uh, okay. So, um, yeah, I am a, an industrial designer student. Currently, I'm studying at Technical University of Moldova. Uh, yeah, I uh, am very passionate about design and how can design solve uh, some, such, some problems of, uh, I don't know, of humanity in general. I'm very interested in sustainable design. Uh, I think it's very important today uh, because we live in such a world that we should uh, really recognize that we have a big impact on the nature and on the earth in general. Um, yeah, about, uh, yeah, and I'm doing also graphic design, I'm volunteering a lot. Uh, so this is kind of what I'm doing now. Uh, about the theme, um, yeah, I am thinking of, uh, from the designer perspective view, you know, from product designer perspective view, uh, I really do believe that there is a lot uh, that can be improved and achieved um, uh, and, you know, changed because this is a, really a problem that can be solved. And uh, yeah, it's a challenge that I think designers should take also. Uh, it's a big problem of the cities and I think uh, for the for uh, humans in general. Um, if I, uh, the last food uh, that I throw, uh, I don't throw food. I'm a student. I don't have a lot of food to eat. I eat everything I have because I don't have so much money. <laughs> you know, I eat even dry food. So <laughs> I'm very happy when someone is offering me food. So yeah, kind of this. Uh, situation. Yeah, that's it. Oh my cool. God. Thanks, Elena. Um, so then we continue to Ruxandra. Uh, hi, uh, my name is Ruxandra. Uh, I'm a theater director and playwright. I was born in Romania and now I am uh, with um, the Erasmus um, project in, uh, uh, in Athens, in Greece. Uh, I'm interested in uh, the theme of, uh, um, not actually the theme, I'm interested in the connection between art and uh, ecology and I did my uh, final paper in playwright in how we show in theater climate change and I wrote a play about climate change and now I am preparing a performance about climate change that hopefully hopefully will take place in, uh, in December at the Con National Contemporary Art Museum in, uh, in Bucharest. And about the food, uh, the food waste, I know about uh, uh, this method of uh, dumpster diving. Uh, I have seen people doing it, but I have never done it because uh, I don't know people in Bucharest who who do it so that I can like follow them. I don't know how can you do it actually, if it is possible to do it in Bucharest. And I am wasting a lot of food because I am very, I don't know, spoiled and I cannot eat. Uh, for example, what I'm throwing away is bread. I, if it gets just a little bit, uh, it's not perfectly fresh, I cannot eat it. So I don't have, because I was raised in, in the city, in a house in which they nobody paid attention to, 
to this kind of stuff. So I, I didn't get a habit of, of paying attention to, to saving food and yes. Okay, so the last thing you uh, threw out that could have still been eaten? I think bread, I think bread. Bread, okay. All right, thank you, Ruxandra. Thank you. And uh, we have one more face on the Zoom, uh, which is Vladimir, who maybe would like to share with us also what was the last food he threw out and why, and also how he sees uh, this topic very briefly. It took me a <laughs> Uh, I don't remember if I. Especially when you don't cook that often and uh, there is no really a lot of food <laughs> in the fridge. Um, so somehow I am used to recycle everything, even if it's slightly spoiled. I fry it twice or uh, I kind of find a, a way to to cook it <laughs> and to get rid of germs and uh, then it's still eatable. Um, yeah, actually I love all kinds of cheeses that stay overstay <laughs> their term <laughs> and uh, are considered usually uh, out of use. Um, and about the topic itself, what I'm mostly interested in is how can we develop an artistic discourse around the, the ecological issues, various ecological issues, not only food waste and uh, recycling, but uh, also other, uh, other uh, topics which are linked to more sustainable way of living. And how uh, through art can we uh, build um, a sort of visual uh, narration which can um, become a, a space for sharing ideas and um, kind of establish some communication channels uh, with uh, wider audiences because usually from my circle most of the people are sort of attentive and aware of the waste and food waste and other things but uh, the question is how to go beyond this circle and reach uh, wider, uh, wider uh, not audiences, but um, basically more people and how can uh, art uh, help us in that. Mm -hmm. Okay, Vladimir, what's the mask? Um, maybe next, uh, <laughs> Maxim wants to share. And now, how it is? Yes, yes, mm -hmm. better. Thank you. Uh, salute. My name is Maxim. Uh, and, uh, if true, we live now here in Kishnev, kind of community of people who connection with the Berlicht, and uh, we have uh, all time some food in the fridge, but uh, it's all disappear very fast, more fast. Uh, I think that uh, can be bad. So we eat all just, if, if I remember, maybe some bread we have that I give for birds. I don't know. I have some bread in my bag and forgot about him and see, okay, now it's not so good and give some to some birds and platinum and all. Um, yeah, such story. And about uh, food. In general, I think uh, it's a good platform for uh, uh, artists and uh, in general for communication between, between uh, people because uh, some deep concepts uh, usually don't understandable for 
everybody and some philosophic topic, but food very understandable. And uh, it's like some sphere for researching and maybe uh, thinking in this direction. I think it's interesting for cultural and art uh, community. Uh, and now, join the panel. Um, how, uh, how is your What is the last piece of food that you throw out uh, that maybe could have still been eaten? My name is Anna, I'm an artist. I'm interested in this topic because I don't know how it works in uh, Kishina or in Moldova with food waste and uh, if markets uh, uh, provide this possibility to save food or to do something else with it. And also I'm interested in organization that uh, work with this uh, subject. The last piece of food, I don't know, maybe a bread. <laughs> Let's Bread number one. <laughs> okay. So I think this is everyone, but uh, I can also share that uh, today, unfortunately, I uh, throw out, well, I don't throw out, but I don't eat one quarter of batuta in Galbenosh because uh, I go very hungry and I just ask uh, once of each colorful thing I see. And uh, the batuta are not their best work, it's true. So I really power through most of it uh, that I could and try to put other stuff on top of it so I don't feel the taste. But uh, in the last uh, mile, uh, I had to give up, unfortunately. And the mess. Yeah, um, I, I was, uh, took some tomatoes and um, uh, piazza cintrale. And it was like, maybe I, we were so lazy to cook or I don't know. So we have, we ate all, all, almost everything, but one was like already rotten. So I had to throw it away. Mm -hmm. mm. Okie dokie. So um, I see that now it's almost six. So if we stick to the 6.30 time, uh, maybe we don't have so much freedom. So basically now the, the idea was that we a little review um, what we sent to you in email, like home tasks, uh, even if you didn't uh, get to do them. Maybe we look at them and see um, what is their purpose. So... Mm, we can uh, just start uh, maybe and uh, then if time isn't by our side, we take a little break. Um, so the first task was actually uh, a list of useful reading materials on this topic uh, from Bermet and myself. And um, the idea was to look over them and maybe see one that looked a bit more interesting and have, uh, have a look at it. And then uh, we can say how, uh, how it touched you, what impressions it uh, left you with. So um, I don't know if anyone actually got to it, to the reading materials. I think maybe not because the time was really short. Christina said uh, she had a look, but I think we lost Christina somewhere. Um, yeah. So, uh, like she said, a lot of the um, a lot of the materials had this approach about food salvaging from a political uh, perspective, like um, act of uh, anti-consumerism, anti-capitalism. Um, there was a, a lot of materials who really treated it like uh, how let's prevent it, uh, what you can do in your own kitchen. Um, cooking uh, cookbooks for uh, food waste prevention, a lot of media articles, which are uh, really cool. Um, I mean, there's a lot of media hype 
around it and it's usually from the same perspective of uh, following these people like uh, they're somehow on the they squeeze through the cracks in society and manage to do this and the bad bad people who throw food away from the big shops um so it's a lot of the same narrative but there's also some uh, very interesting uh, approaches from the media especially now during pandemic uh, i like uh, to see this uh, perspective of how uh, dumpster diving can be can really prevent the um, uh, the preca precarity brought on by pandemic and actually even some of my uh, friends from Kishinev who practice it said that uh, it was a really great help in the beginning of the pandemic. Uh, sorry, sorry, someone wants to come in. Ah, Christina, she's back. Yeah. So um, I will just uh, share here on the chat what the one that was my favorite like if i had to recommend just one uh, book it would be this one um it's called waste free kitchen handbook a guide to eating well and saving money um and it's all yeah and this also a bit like my critic to literature around it because it's very um, americanized um maybe because this uh, it this practice grew into a phenomenon, I think, in uh, inside American society more. So it makes sense that a lot of the research and literature comes from there. But uh, in a lot of cases, it kind of um, may create a big gap. So it's not easy maybe for someone from here, from Kishinev, to really resonate with it. And uh, in the case of... Um, this uh, book, which is great anywhere, um, the section about cooking to prevent food waste uh, is also quite American for me. I mean, it's good structured. It takes like the main uh, foods that are usually becoming food waste and gives recipes for each. But then inside the recipes, there's some ingredients that uh, I never saw since I was in work and travel or like maybe the main ingredient is uh, parrots uh, a day, but then there's like uh, 20 other ingredients that you need to buy or somehow find. I mean, it's not likely you'll find them in trash. So um, for me, that's a bit where barrier starts, but otherwise it has super good resources, even from, uh, I started to understand how the fridge works from this book because there's a, a whole architecture inside fridge and uh, it's not you you shouldn't just put uh, like uh, a food on uh, the first empty place you see but it has a whole logic on how to preserve foods so they last longer so little stuff like this and i think it's really important uh, for me it's really important when talking about food waste to not just focus on uh, who what shops throw out and um, the pro big problem in society, but also how each of us is contributing. Because if you really look inside the dumpster, uh, you'll also see plenty of food thrown out just uh, by regular people like uh, you and me. It's, and it's everywhere. It's, we cannot say like, for example, like in Germany or United States, there are many problems with wasting food, but also here uh, and in like post-Soviet Union, it's a big issue. I mean, it's always a question of demand, but still. And I really like it, what you told about your experience, just even last uh, few words about what you threw away. So that means that uh, we saw already that uh, as a bread or vegetables, it's like more, um, threw, we threw it away very often. And bread, it's really like a um, huge amount. And uh, I agree with Yelena. Uh, I when I was a student, I was always like, had a lack of money and had a lack of food. I mean, when I came to supermarket or to cafe, I even didn't, was able to buy something. I mean, maybe bread. And 
when I started to search uh, this topic, I saw that so many food is, uh, and bread uh, throw it away. So it's like a crime to buy food actually now. Like, you know, because you buy it and half uh, or maybe even more, it's uh, thrown away by the system. And I also like this idea how uh, like uh, industrial designers can work with this topic because it's uh, like really um, big uh, field of thinking about this, how we can design our life with this uh, food wastes. And, and also what, you, uh, what about you talk, we all we also can see here the big difference between countryside and city. So actually we can understand that uh, this uh, urban growth it's the main uh, issue, main topic, and main reason of uh, wasting food. Because now it's even more than 50% uh, of people living in big cities. So that means that really a lot of lands are empty, and we like an uh, insect in very small spots. And that's why we have also, also with this uh, problem with food waste, because uh, when we waste food, it's not like all, only uh, losing of resources, uh, financial and ecological problems as well, because we even do not um, uh, destroy this field, but also in these um, uh, garbage fields, it's also some pro chemical processes that really spoiling uh, the earth uh, and water, underground water. So it's uh, super toxic. So that's why it's uh, very big issues. And uh, I like that in Moldova there are some initiatives to work with food waste, but it, this problem is so huge that we need to really pay attention to this problem and try to highlight this problem. And um, that's why we decided to make this workshop because uh, we will make uh, something what we can do on our, using our expertises, using our knowledges and experience uh, to make it uh, more bright and more effective. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and we also wanted to ask you, maybe you, someone, uh, check the reading list, or maybe you have read another book so, about these problems. Or even just some uh, articles, maybe you saw somewhere. Or maybe not. Um, but about the reading list, uh, I'll. Da, Christina? Uh, I read the um, Alex Barnard Friganism. Uh, this is the book that I was saying I couldn't, uh, I couldn't relate to it because it's all about the capitalist system and you know how the system is working. And I was waiting for him to see, okay, and what about all the farmers that have been working and everything? Uh, and also the art and science of dumpster diving. I was curious to see if there's like some pointers or so I started reading this. And of course, I watched the story of stuff. Mm -hmm. And after I watched that video, I went into a rabbit hole of videos, the story of cosmetics, the story of um, food, the story of uh, um, broken electricity no, electronics that are, are made specifically to break in a very short time. The story, so basically I went into this rabbit hole of um, explanation how our society is uh, is programmed or I don't know, it's, um, it's functioning in a very um, wasteful way. And then mm -hmm. I watched, uh, I went to this uh, trash, wiki trash, wiki trash, Ah, and yeah, I yeah. saw that nobody, the um, like Wikipedia only for trash and waste. Yeah. And I saw that uh, nobody posted about Moldova, but they post about Ukraine, Bulgaria, Russia. So basically it's a competition for the food in the dumpster, 
for um, in between the homeless people, retired people. Basically, in this side of the world, uh, there's very little uh, food, like good to eat, thrown out. And then I watched Food Not Bombs. Basically, I browsed through all of these, um, all of these, uh, and I watched a documentary. You uh, ladies uh, got me <laughs> hooked on all of these, uh, but I think it's enough only to watch one. I mean, I don't need to be convinced about this uh, problem. I want to see what people or what cities did to uh, reduce this. This is what I'm wondering. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Да, but uh, that was the idea with making a reading list with more sources because, uh, like I said, there's been so many approaches to this topic from uh, uh, capitalism, anarchism, uh, ethics, uh, all ecology, all all sorts of ways, and maybe it's super okay that uh, for someone it's just about. Uh, not uh, wasting food for someone it's part of a bigger scheme of how our society functions so uh, each person can find um, their own connection to it uh, maybe for you like you said it's more about mm -hmm. going actually to the roots and talking about the farmers uh, who produce all this food and uh, where their effort goes after this so it's super cool that there's a lot of uh, perspectives on it I think. And um, just about reading list is ending. I wanted to ask if you saw um, Bermet's uh, dictionary of food sharing. That was also on the list. Uh, yeah. I, can, I can throw again the yeah. link uh, here in the chat. But um, yes, maybe you want to share just a few words on it, like yeah. author. Uh, because you told that some book was very like Americanized and yeah, as well as a very specific topic and of course uh, food is like very big culture of particular countries. So and um, and for me it was very important to create our like local guide and uh, it's not like an article but in a shape of dictionary. And it's very important because there is uh, the notions like even for food, yeah, because for food, for us, for many people, they like do not think about this something more than just eating, mm -hmm. but behind this, it's also a lot of philosophy, ethics, and of course, political issues. And and even uh, in this notion, it's written that food, it's not only that we can use to uh, nutrish ourselves, but it's also a very big issue and very deep connections, historical and contemporary connections to political and economical issues. And uh, there are, of course, uh, some notions like food sharing itself, because for us, it's like food for people who do not speak English, it's also very like unknown term. And as we work in Bishkek with uh, people who mostly do not speak English, for them, it's not like so understandable. But maybe after like three years of working, like many people know this word and they are always like giving each other food and saying, food sharing, take it. So it's always uh, already like a part of the like culture and it's very cool that when we creating our notions itself because all notions that you can see that I just wrote by myself without I mean using another dictionary or something else it's uh, just uh, uh, it's just result of experience uh, so and uh, also after my exhibition in Switzerland, we wanted to make some kind of catalog and that will be also like recipe book. Mm -hmm. But yeah, maybe we can like think and also include some recipes from our workshop yeah. to create something like a bit dream. bigger is that, uh, for our context, for our like food culture, because people can easily like use it like every day, mm -hmm. even like 
to make some Priyanka. I mean, we know all what is Priyanka is. Uh, and uh, I do what? Priyanka. Priyanka. Ah, sure. Da, da, da. Okay. <laughs> I don't know what that is. Grank, uh, is it Dwar Brajita? Ah, da, da, da. Friganelle. Like French toast? Da, da, da. French toast for Moldavsky. <laughs> it's something that you have uh, eaten from childhood. And uh, it's also like our like parents, uh, they... Uh, not like we are, they very suffering uh, because of uh, lack of food after world, uh, after world war, and that's why we know this recipe. So we can also include to the book, and I don't know, to write together common book. I mean, it's uh, also up to you, up to us, how we will like what we will achieve during this uh, workshop. For example. Um, one of the tasks, it's a bit uh, weird for me to say it's like task, but uh, yeah, like uh, sharing experience was like to make some photos of your speech. So I think maybe for tomorrow we anyway can try to do this. Just take a photo of your speech and mm -hmm. if you do not like shy or there is no, I mean, who wants, we can just uh, briefly also discuss this, as you told, like architecture of uh, bridge, yeah. uh, because it's uh, it's always like um, we even do not notice some things inside how it's organized or what we need or what we don't need. I don't know. So mm -hmm. we can just uh, briefly come back to this topic tomorrow and also check. I'm just now uh, visualizing my the inside of my fridge. <laughs> it is totally not photogenic. It's like World War III. <laughs> but, uh, but yes, Same. I, I will show all it has. Um, but maybe this is good uh, transition to um, one of the other home tasks, which was this uh, food waste diary. Mm -hmm. Um, so I can throw again in chat the link to the template. Uh, it's from this book I was praising before. So the idea of this uh, food waste diary is to see each day um, for a week. Actually, like best, best ideal time frame is two weeks because uh, it gives you a more long term view instead of just a snapshot. Uh, so for this time, you keep this diary. Every day you say uh, what exactly you threw out, um, why and uh, where, and um, approximately how much money. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. And um, it's kind of interesting. Uh, I mean, yeah, of course you look at it uh, at the end and maybe it gives you uh, some new perspective of how much you waste because when you just throw one bread one day uh, it doesn't leave such a big impression on you but then if you look and at the end of the week you threw like uh, 15 pieces of bread then maybe your relationship with bread uh, yeah, and how it costs and what you can buy for it or yeah yeah so there is uh, this element a bit of uh, oh shit what am I? What am I doing? But uh, on the other hand, it has it has interesting uh, effect too, because it puts an element of gamification in it. Because you know you fill in and then it has a cost. You get like scores, and you're kind of more you you keep it in mind like reflex that oh, but if I throw it now, I have to put it in the diary, and then uh, my final <laughs> score will be affected. So it works a bit like that too, but. The main thing is that it's a really good um, um, occasion for reflection because there is the column with reason for why you're throwing it. And uh, like it says in the book, it's uh, a bit, it's not as simple as it looks when you think about it because, uh, okay, you can put simply like reason, uh, this bread was uh, bad or this grape had flies. Yeah, 
But if you go, if you dig deeper, uh, the reason it, the bread arrived to have mushrooms on it, it's maybe because uh, you bought too much or you didn't get time to eat it. And then you go even deeper and you remember yourself in the supermarket getting this bread. And when you got this bread, you are thinking, mm, okay, maybe I make some tartine, maybe I make this uh, Moldavian French toast. And uh, so you had, you go back in time a bit and trace your steps of what your expectations was when you bought this food to the moment you throw it out. So that's uh, really cool, I think, because um, I guess at least thinking about myself, when we go to supermarket, it's very much an uh, autopilot to just uh, take what you find quick. And now with Corona, I think even more so just avoid contact and uh, buy all you can, all you think you need. So it's really not a, such a meditative uh, process. Um, so for this, I really like the idea of this diary. And uh, it's totally not about shaming. Like if you will decide to keep it and uh, share it with us or even just for yourself, just remember it's not about having good results or if you threw away uh, your sandwich, it's, uh, it's not a great sin, but it's really more for um, self, for realizing what goes into your relationship with food. Uh, did you have a look at the, how this uh, diary looks? Uh, or you can now in the chat. What do you think about it? I started, about this idea I started in general. completing. I like the idea yeah. because uh, I went through the same process uh, how when I was uh, to reduce the waste, all kinds of waste. And uh, we did the same two weeks of uh, uh, writing down everything that we throw away. And I was uh, shocked how much trash I throw away. So I'm uh, now very careful of what I buy, what's hushed. So I think it's a good idea, but I didn't think about the reasons. For example, okay, I threw away the pasta and the grapes and that's it. I didn't think about because I had a good reason. They were bad, but I didn't think beyond that. I should not have this many produce. I, I think that I will eat it because I really like to eat, but I, it seems that mm -hmm. it's still too much food for me. Um, also, it's good that uh, there is, uh, it forces me to put a price because I also like to not waste money. If after two weeks, I will look at the total and if it's going to be more than 10 euros, I will be very careful. For me, 10 euros, it's like a thre psychological threshold. If I waste uh, more than 10 euros, then I start to pay attention. <laughs> I will uh, try to complete it. So far, I only wrote for because I threw away that uh, the grapes and my pasta, and uh, to, and that's it. Cool. So you uh, you have uh, planned to keep it for I two have... weeks, that? Yes. Yeah, so it's uh, it's interesting. Usually, if I do it. <laughs> If, usually if I do it only for one week, I will uh, just try to do my best, you know, I will uh, yeah, not yeah. throw anything. And then uh, the the immediate day after that week, I will just throw a lot of things. <laughs> so mm -hmm. I want to do it for a longer time to have my regular uh, schedule and to see the reality. Because in my, in my mind, I don't throw away food, but uh, you know... <laughs> One thing is the reality when you see it written down on the paper and the other thing is my uh, perception. So I want to do it for two weeks. Cool. We have uh, this um, Telegram chat, uh, Trash Touring. I don't know, maybe someone already joined it. Uh, so we can, even like after two weeks, we can share the result and what mm -hmm. we think. I mean, it's not like that we can yeah. stop. Yeah discussing after like these three days we can continue to develop our ideas and especially for example with this theater uh, about climate change i also was super interested because i met uh, this director of the 
Center of Young Naturalists in Chisinau. And she already, and she told me that she really liked to tr try to make environmental theater. And maybe she will come tomorrow. So maybe we can also ask you more about this. I don't know, because it is always uh, about connection, different initiatives, because if there is very like small initiative or not small and something bigger, Sorry, sorry, sorry. Uh, yeah, sorry. <laughs> so I mean, yeah, it's it's very important to accumulate our, all our uh, activities. Mm -hmm. Actually, Ruxandra, I also wanted to ask if you'd be okay to share a link maybe to this uh, play. Uh, a link to for you to read it. Yeah. No, if it's like past, maybe it's. Uh, it's it's uh, written in Romanian, and mm -hmm. uh, maybe I I can try to translate it and send to you. Uh, but uh, it will take me some uh, some time to do that. But I think okay in uh, Romanian too, and then it's something uh, we can translate. Okay, it is uh, still a work in progress. I it is devised uh, devised as a play for teenagers uh, and with teenagers. And uh, the main idea it is about uh, some uh, uh, teenagers who are part of uh, uh, Fridays for Future mm -hmm. and uh, who try to to make a play themselves. And uh, they fight, and all the drama inside of such an, an uh, activist group, but also uh, with some moments in which they check uh, the IPCC report and they talk about uh, the the climate data. Mm -hmm. Super cool. Well, I shared the link here to our Telegram group specifically for this uh, module. So. Um, and first for you to join it if you haven't already and then feel free to share there everything from your food waste diary plays maybe interesting articles you find photos of your fridge so uh, we can really get it uh, very um, active and speaking of photos maybe i will move now to the other task which was to uh, buy if you need to go buy fruits or veggies to buy the ugliest ones uh, you see for sale. Because uh, actually it's this aesthetical aspect is a huge uh, element of why a lot of food gets thrown out. Actually not even just thrown out, but it doesn't even uh, get to the shelves. I think farm, mm, I read that something like 30% uh, of these fruits and veggies don't even get harvested because they're not worthy of uh, being displayed or they get picked but then they get sorted at the farm and anyway they don't make it to the supermarkets because um, somewhere along the way these uh, cosmetic standards of beauty that uh, kind of permeate society at human level transferred to uh, food somewhere between, I think, brought on by the boom of advertising. So uh, now it's actually a big issue. And uh, not only because the shops or the providers don't sell them, but actually the consumers are not drawn to them uh, psychologically. And uh, I think it's also, I read some research and it's uh, like an extension of our own perception of our own beauty. like. Uh, you don't want to think of yourself as ugly, so you don't associate yourself with uh, objects that you, you, you deem ugly. So um, I, there's been some attempts at marketing around these products, like some of the bigger um, supermarket shops from abroad try to do something like uh, every, all uh, shapes are beautiful around food. Um, but uh, yeah, it's actually up to us because shops are also driven by supply and demand. So um, 
if they see that even the ugly fruit get bought, I think they'll be less reluctant to sell it. I think actually Moldova is a bit um, doing a bit better in this regard than other countries that are less uh, agro inclined, let's say, because at least in Moldova, there is this uh, perception that, uh, you know, the best cherries have worms in them, you know, that uh, a good uh, melon makes a certain sound, it has to have certain uh, nervur. Um, so there's still a bit of this um, uh, science uh, from our ancestors of what's good food and what's not uh, that hasn't been totally corrupted by uh, advertising, let's say. Um, but in general, yeah, somehow we were trained to go to the shiniest, uh, purest colored fruits and vegetables and the rest just uh, goes to the trash. So um, I don't know if you had a chance to buy any ugly food um, until today, but maybe we can still keep this as an idea. Just when you organically need to go buy fruits and veggies, you can remember to keep an eye on the ugly ones and uh, take them home. And uh, if you're okay with it, also take some uh, photos. As we have not so many time before break, yeah. I think we can just go through our schedule during mm -hmm. several days. Yes, so um, let me attempt a screen sharing. Shas. Program. Mm -hmm. Okay, I have the document and share screen. Oh, yeah, this. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Share computer sound. Mm -hmm. uh, you can see it? Yes. Okay. So uh, it's in Romanian, but I will go through it in English. So we are here, first meeting uh, today which will be followed by the by Bermet's presentation at seven, art and uh, environmental activism in uh, Bishkek. Um, here I didn't, about our first meeting today, I didn't structure it too much, but the idea was that after the break, we can do a little uh, mapping exercise, like I said in the beginning, and um, kind of mark together uh, the places we know uh, where it's possible to do some food rescuing in Kishinev. Uh, so let's see if we manage to do at least a bit of that. If not, maybe we leave it for the other days. Yeah. Um, so for tomorrow, quite exciting. Uh, I don't know if you've heard about the Banca de Alimente project. I think now they're the only ones who are trying to do it at, in an organized way to really go to Agents Economic collect the food that they can't sell anymore because it's approaching like their deadline, but still good to eat. And then they distribute it to a network of social cantinas and um, different associations that work with beneficiaries. So they have a very big warehouse um, in the city, kind of, I don't know if it's outside the city already, but pretty far. So they uh, would be very happy to receive us tomorrow for a guided tour. Okay, and, and we wanted to ask who uh, of you can join us. Yeah. So as you can see, the visit is scheduled for half past three, uh, for an hour plus minus. Since it's uh, pretty far in Posta Veke, this is the address. From what they told us, it's not really reachable with public transportation. I mean, uh, you can take one, 184, uh, but you still have to do quite a bit of walking. So because of that, we said um, we can meet here at three and then split up in uh, taxis and uh, head, head over there. So uh, it would be cool to know approximately who of you would be interested and able to join. 
for logistic reasons. Mm. So, 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 so. So, um, after that, so it will be an hour. Let's say at 4.30 we can leave from there. And then um, on the way back, actually it's super close to this uh, place. Uh, we will pick up some products from uh, a lady who actually, wait for the story, I need to go back a little. So there is a, a lady on Facebook who started two groups uh, for food sharing. One is specifically for food sharing and one um, is called Ida des Granici and she, she basically shows what she cooked uh, from food that uh, she either rescued or she buys uh, from the shelves like 50% off because it's expiring today. So she basically cooks all of this, uh, she collects it by herself and offers it to whoever needs it. Uh, so she kind of uh, um, got also involved into our workshop and she put an uh, ad, she made a post on these groups and as the guys who has something they're not uh, using in their kitchen, who has some food uh, they don't need and can give for this uh, workshop. So quite a bit of people responded. She will also be with us tomorrow at uh, this visit. And uh, she will join on Saturday to cook with us. But uh, we'll get to that soon. Um, so one of the ladies who responded and has some food for us uh, expects us tomorrow to just pick it up on our way back. And then at six, we should be back at Zemsve because uh, I will have a presentation called the junk food revolution against food waste here in Spazio and online, I think. And after, right afterwards, Bermet will present also uh, biopolitics and the economic politics of food production. Uh, so that's for tomorrow. On Friday, uh, the plan is to actually just go on the field and try our hand at uh, some food saving. So um, uh, since last year, I, we did it with, in the market with totally no preparation. We just went to the market and uh, spoke to sellers. We thought we would try again, uh, same approach. And uh, it's really cool to do it as a group because uh, we see how everyone maybe takes a different position, maybe has a different way to ask this question and uh, really try like simulation of how this could be done with a small group if uh, it was an activity we really wanted to do to continue. So we said at 3.30 Friday we meet here and we start our journey. Um, around 4.10 there is a little shop of uh, fruits and veggies in uh, Botanica that awaits us to give us very or some... Uh, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. She said, uh, come uh, not too late and not too early when the boss is not there because they have to return all, like all the stuff that goes bad has to go back. Uh, who knows what happens after? Uh, I hear different stories from different bootcas. Somewhere they supposedly go to some animals, cool. Somewhere they just get destroyed, but far away from the shop. So uh, she said, uh, I, actually, I didn't even have to go through the whole pitch. I just started asking about the uh, food that goes bad. I said, Dada, Japon uh, was. I can't, but okay, come. So on Friday, she expects us to give us uh, some selection. So I'm thinking we can stop there real quick. Then continue to the market in uh, Botanica. Um, usually it's really good to go close to closing time when they're really starting to pack up and they know what they sold, what they can still hope to sell or what uh, it's just trash uh, material. So uh, I think if we get there around half past four towards five, it's okay. Um, and then maybe at six maximum, we stop by the house of this uh, lady I was mentioning, uh, who also, so since she made the post last evening, 
And now she's just, uh, the food keeps coming. Everyone in those groups are writing to her that they want to give uh, food. So until Friday, she will uh, collect a lot. And also um, she has some deals with some sellers from uh, Rivenko market who are giving her some vegetables these evenings. So anyway, the uh, idea was that on Friday on our way back from market, maybe we can also stop at her place and pick up uh, what she collected for us. And there is a date uh, because this presentation will come uh, to next day, Saturday. Oh, yes. And uh, we'll be directly in this uh, original park. Mm -hmm. Yes, and actually I should have specified here that uh, after all of this market, all of this picking up food, we come back to Zemsve, uh, look at all our food, uh, make like inventory, and uh, then we decide, we see what's really usable and what's really trash, and we decide what we can cook with it. Um, the idea is that Saturday, using this food, we will cook something together on the spot in Skulanka, but um, if it's really a lot and there is potential, we can also cook something beforehand. Uh, what about the people who are uh, not in uh, Kishinov, who are uh, somewhere else in the world? <laughs> yeah. Uh, you can well, watch. <laughs> for tomorrow, um, I was definitely thinking to live stream the visit to Banca de Alimente. Mm -hmm. um, but for the other parts, I think, uh, yeah, for sure, we can decide together, like uh, on Friday when we have all our um, products, uh, we can make uh, either a video stream or we can just take photos and share them in our Telegram group and decide together, guys, how do you see this food turned into a uh, cooked um, menu? What do you think uh, realistically we can do with this food? Um, but going to the markets and going to pick it up from uh, people and shops, this yeah would be more complicated uh, with an online uh, perspective. But if you have some uh, ideas, please share. It would be really cool. Um, so on Saturday, five minutes. Da, da, five minutes. Uh, so on Saturday, uh, we meet at 11 here with all our foods. We start to prepare them. We need to peel. We need to like clean the bad parts, chop. Depends how what we decide to prepare. But all all preparation will be done here, and then we transport everything to Skulanka. Uh, so at two, we plan to be there. I think at two is the visit to Rugina Park, da? For those who, of you who don't know Rugina, it's a little hidden piece of park full of uh, psychedelic metallic uh, cyberpunk sculptures. And um, there will be the um, uh, artist who kind of uh, protected that little park from getting uh, privatized. And he, of course, can speak about uh, what what's with the sculptures and what's the symbolic of all that place. In this meantime, in the park, very close by, uh, close to the lake as well, we will start preparing the Chaihana event. So there will be tea, uh, also made with herbs uh, donated by my friend, who picked up the herbs herself and dried them. So there will be a very nice selection of these. And uh, we will start cooking um, somehow and serving all our nice foods. And um, this was also one of the home tasks, but it's not super task. Uh, there, we made a group on Telegram called uh, Chaihana Music Dump, which I will share again, where uh, I, I was hoping everyone can put their favorite song that we can turn into playlists during Chaihana. So we, everyone listens to something uh, they like. Oh, and like I said, this woman uh, who handles the Facebook groups will come, will be with us on Saturday. So she will help with cooking and everything. If there will be excess food, uh, she will take it with her and 
share it with her like um, beneficiary. But I was thinking, depending on how many we will be, but uh, I think it will be super cool to also share with people who are just there in the park, uh, locals and anyone who wants to join our little community celebration. Uh, normally, I'd be a bit reserved um, when cooking with food who's kind of rescued or dumpster dived. But... Um, in this case, from what we can predict, there will be a lot of food who's, that's super good to consume. Um, so I think it should be fine. But uh, yeah, we'll see as we go. So before we end, because soon Bermet will start her presentation, um, who from here thinks they can and want to join tomorrow, the guided tour to Banca de Alimente? I would like to go. Mm -hmm. You can? Uh, but I have a... Yes, yes. Uh, but I have a question. If we're going to take something back from Livio Damian Street, yeah. uh, how, how are we going to carry stuff? Uh, so for, do we mm -hmm. take a taxi back to the city or even from the uh, these places uh, botanica piazza agricola mm -hmm, how are mm -hmm. we gonna bring things back because yeah, i so, personally don't have a car it would be ideal to have a car mm -hmm. so from livio damian uh, it's it won't be a lot uh, it won't be heavy stuff uh, i saw photos from the woman it's like some grapes some fruit some bread i think so it will be super convenient and anyway um, I, since we're going by taxi there because it's uh, really not accessible we'll probably come back by taxi as well um for friday oh, okay. uh, for friday yeah we will try to really manage by our own uh, physical capacities but uh, last year like i said we were totally taken by surprise how much food we got i went with like two bags and uh, not even a lot of hopes for those. Mm -hmm. And then uh, I tried to find any pocket, any anything that could be filled with food. And we decided to take a taxi because it was beyond our human capacity. So uh, I think something like this, uh, again, we will adapt. But um, if we really go as a group, I think it's very humanistic to share the burden between each other. And we can uh, transport mm -hmm. it. Um, more of a question would be um, if some of you could uh, maybe adopt some of this food in your fridges. Uh, again, it depends on the quantity. It's all very uh, unpredictable with food saving. But uh, if it will really be a lot and it's stuff that uh, needs some uh, fridge to not go bad, maybe we could also share it between each other. Um, okay. But going back to tomorrow, so Christina, you will join us at three. To yes. Start, to yes. Start our... I will come to Zemstvay. Mm -hmm. Cool. Um, anyone else? I mean, you can also think till tomorrow. I'll put the info again in the group so you have it there. If not, like I said, we'll try to live stream it. I think it's really cool to see um, such a huge uh, scale of food saving and in a super formalized way. And they are really, really knowledgeable about the laws, the legislation in Moldova. I think they were even consulted about this new law that's being developed against food waste. So that's the, main, the best source to find out about the legal framework. And also to see like, immense uh, amounts of food that they get and try to imagine how this goes to cantinas and to all these people and try to do like some visual math and um, I think it's really cool to have this contrast between what we will see there and what we will do like a few people with uh, pairs of hands and some sumke. So um, yeah, I really hope um, a lot of us can join. And maybe this food mapping, we could also somehow squeeze tomorrow. If not, worst case scenario, I will share the, the Google Maps version of it. But uh, I think it's nice to put pins in a physical map. Okay, 
So I think for today, we will end here. Um, yeah, we just have a break and-, and Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, cool. So thanks a lot. If you have any more questions about the workshop, maybe. No, <laughs> so far so good. I don't have any. Okie dokie. Uh, sure yet. Uh, I uh, put it together today, yes, but I will share it in the Telegram group. Clara, I have uh, sent you an email with uh, the play. Uh, da, 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 da. Thank you. Yeah. You you have my email, right? From I just uh, my... answered, I replied to the email you have sent us. Mm -hmm. thank you. Nice. Thanks a lot, Oksana. Thank and you. thank you, everyone. Um, hope it was at least a little interesting. So um, see you tomorrow in in some form. Oh yeah, Blin. Okay. Uh, see you in fifteen minutes, and see you tomorrow, and see you Friday, and uh, see you Saturday too. Okay. So um, we close this one, and then we'll make uh, another link. Okay. Okay. Bye. Okay.